Welcome everybody to Carol's Art Room. Today I'm going to do a bloom on this. This is a 9 inch LP record. It's a really old one when they made them smaller than a 33. It's a little heavier also so I taped it all up on the back, taped the hole up and I just did one but I scraped it. I had too much pillow paint down, so I'm going to pour another one. And I'm going to do less pillow paint, hopefully. Because I want to be able to blow it out and I want most of the bloom to stay on as much as I can. So, let's try, I'm going to try this again. The first color I'm going to put down is Meaden Fluid Paint. It's a pastel color and it's called Mint Green. It's an opaque color. So I'm putting some of that in the middle. I'll do this one is Amsterdam greenish blue and the next one I'll put down the silver this is Meaden metallic silver fluid paint I have a discount code for Mead and Paints and all their other goodies that they sell. Um, airbrushes, canvas, watercolor paints, all different kinds of painting products that you would need. Brushes. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put some this little pig mermaid, this little piggy mermaids and some PBO green blue. And uh, this one is golden teal. And a little bit of deco art metallic. Bahama blue. It's almost the same color as the golden. I'm going to do white and black cell activator. Black. I always gotta have to give them a good shake before you use my hair dryer. Some air bubbles I'm gonna pop. This is my little mini hair dryer, cool low. This middle 
come together. Well, hopefully it all, hopefully I can keep most of it on. pretty cells. Anyways, if you want to learn more about the bloom technique, there's a discount code for the Shelly Art course under my video, 15% off. Plus there's other discounts for Maiden Paints and Loli Leffy mats and a couple of other items down there. Plus my recipes for my blooms. So have a look in the description, hit the title and you'll get a drop down and you'll see everything there. That's gonna go in the middle anymore. Okay, I'll spin it again. There's something here. It's really pretty. Oh, I'm afraid I'm losing my white.
I'm not used to doing large ones like this. I got too much pillow paint again. But I'm gonna leave it. Well, I think, I don't know if I can spin it anymore, maybe one more. It's pretty thin now. The middle is thicker, but Afraid to leave that much paint in the middle. All right, I'm going to let it dry and I'll show you the dried results at the end of the video. So please subscribe if you haven't yet and hit the bell and you'll be notified when I do a new video. Have a great day, everybody. Hi, everybody. Well, here's the dried <clears throat> bloom on the record. It dried really well. Take you in for a close-up. So much happening, so many colors, so many <clears throat> bloom. Cells, pretty cells. I like this one, it's very pretty. That would make a nice clock. The hole in the middle. There you go. Thanks for watching.